Good morning. Whether you are worshiping with us here in person or are joining us online, welcome to worship. Today is the second Sunday of Easter, and after a hiatus of a couple years, Holy Humor Sunday is back today. So this hat I acquired uh, in France when I was there, when I was 21 or something during a carnival time. So it had been my kids, and now I took it back for today. Yeah. Uh, so the roots of Holy Humor Sunday are in an understanding of Easter as God's joke on the devil. The devil thought that he had captured the Son of God, but not only could death not hold him, Christ's victory also set all creation free. So on this day, we laugh and joke and revel in God's triumph over evil. So I'm glad to see a few of you um, found something to wear today, whether it's a hat or your hair in a different style or a tie. Um, thank you for joining me in the silliness. Um, and our worship today will include some different liturgy in a couple places, um, a few skits, some jokes, um, and we also have Alleluia Bingo. So in your um, bulletin, you should have received a pink bingo card. Um, and all of the words on it are words you will hear during the service today. So as you hear a word, just mark it off on your card. Um, and then when you have bingo, up and down or horizontal, diagonal, just shout out. But you don't call out bingo, you will call out Alleluia whenever you get bingo. And that way, um, our worship will be full of extra praise to God, as Alleluia means praise God. So you can call out Alleluia in the middle of whatever is going on, which is not an easy thing for Lutherans, I know, but I'm sure we can give it a try. And so now at this time, I invite you to take a few moments to prepare your hearts and minds for worship with the prelude.
Please stand. Alleluia, Christ is risen. The tomb was empty. God is victorious over sin and death. Let laughter and song echo in this place. Alleluia, Christ is risen. In the waters of baptism, we have passed over from death to life with Jesus Christ, and we are a new creation. For this saving mystery and for this water, let us bless God who was, who is, and who is to come. <laughs> we thank you, God, for your river of life flowing freely from your throne. Through the earth, through the city, through every living thing, you rescued Noah and his family from the flood. You opened wide the sea for the Israelites. Now in these waters, you flood us with mercy, and our sin is drowned forever. You open the gate of righteousness, and we pass safely through. In Jesus Christ, you calm and trouble the waters. You nourish us and enclose us in safety. You call us forth and send us out. In lush and barren places, you are with us. You have become our salvation. Now breathe upon this water and awaken your church once more. Claim us again as your beloved and holy people. Quench our thirst, cleanse our hearts, wipe away every tear, Fill us with joy. To you, our beginning and our end, our shepherd and lamb, be honor, glory, praise, and thanksgiving, now and forever. Amen.
The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Let us pray. Lord of life, we praise you for the gifts of laughter and delight. Awaken us to rejoice in your presence and artistry in the creation all around us. Give us the courage to laugh in the face of sin, death, and the devil, confident in Christ's victory over the grave. Empower us to share our joy with our neighbors in the name of Christ our Lord. Amen. You may be seated. Why does Santa have three gardens? I don't know. I don't know. Why? So he can ho, ho, ho. <laughs> when is a baseball player like a spider? I don't know. When? When he catches a fly. How do you make a tissue dance? How? You put a little boogie in it. What happens when you tell an egg a joke? I don't know. What? It, it cracks up. Knock, knock. Who's there? Cash. Cash who? No thanks. I prefer peanuts. Knock, knock. Who's there? Lucy. Lucy who? Lucy Elastic makes your pants fall down. <laughs> what did the Jedi say to the cowboy? What? May the horse be with you. <laughs> what do you call a crate full of ducks? I don't know. What? A box of quackers. Why do mermaids live in salt water? I don't know. Why? Because pepper makes them sneeze. 
What do you get when you drop a pumpkin off the road? The roof. Roof, yeah. What? Squash. Good morning. The scripture reading comes from the book of Isaiah, the 25th chapter. On this mountain, the Lord of hosts will make for all peoples a feast of rich food, a feast of well-aged wines, a rich food filled with marrow of well-aged wine strained clear. And he will destroy on this mountain the shroud that is cast over all peoples, the sheet that is spread over all nations. He will swallow up death forever. Then the Lord God will wipe away the tears from all faces, and the disgrace of his people he will take away from all the earth, for the Lord has spoken. It will be said on that day, Lo, this is our God. We have waited for him so that he might save us. This is the Lord for whom we have waited. Let us be glad and rejoice in his salvation. The word of the Lord. Um, please read Psalm 67 responsibly. May God be gracious to us and bless us and make his face to shine upon us. Let the peoples praise you, O Lord. Let the peoples praise you. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. May God continue to bless us. Let all the ends of the earth revere him. Holy Gospel according to John, the 20th chapter. Early on the first day of the week, while it was still dark, Mary Magdalene came to the tomb and saw that the stone had been removed from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter and the other disciple, the one whom Jesus loved, and said to them, they have taken the Lord out of the tomb, and we do not know where they have laid him. Then Peter and the other disciples set out and went toward the tomb. The two were running together, but the other disciple outran Peter and reached the tomb first. He bent down to look in and saw the linen wrappings lying there, but he did not go in. Then Simon Peter came following him and went into the tomb. He saw the linen wrappings lying there, and the cloth that had been on Jesus' head, not lying with the linen wrappings, but rolled up in a place by itself. Then the other disciple, who reached the tomb first, also went in, and he saw and believed. For as yet they did not understand the scripture, that he must rise from the dead. Then the disciples returned to their homes. But Mary stood weeping outside the tomb. As she wept, she bent over to look into the tomb, and she saw two angels in white, sitting where the body of Jesus had been lying, one at the head and the other at the feet. They said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? She said to them, They have taken away my Lord, and I do not know where they have laid him. When she said this, she turned around and saw Jesus standing there, but she did not know that it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Whom are you looking for? Supposing him to be the gardener, she said to him, Sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where you have laid him, and I will take him away. 
Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned and said to him in Hebrew, Rabuni, which means teacher. Jesus said to her, do not hold on to me because I have not yet ascended to the father, but go to my brothers and say to them, I am ascending to my father and your father, to my God and your God. Mary Magdalene went and announced to the disciples, I have seen the Lord. And she told them that he had said these things to her. When it was evening on that day, the first day of the week, and the doors of the house where the disciples had met were locked for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. After he said this, he showed them his hands and his side. Then the disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. When he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven them. If you retain the sins of any, they are retained. But Thomas, who was called the twin, one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples told him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see the mark of the nails in his hands, and put my finger in the mark of the nails and my hand in his side, I will not believe. A week later, his disciples were again in the house, and Thomas was with them. Although the doors were shut, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hands. Reach out your hand and put it in my side. Do not doubt, but believe. Thomas answered him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, Have you believed because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have come to believe. Now Jesus did many other signs in the presence of his disciples, which are not written in this book. But these are written so that you may come to believe that Jesus is the Messiah, the Son of God, and that through believing you may have life in his name. The Gospel of the Lord. Test. just a little tiny setup. In a perfect world, we would have no scripts, okay? And we would all have everything memorized, and that's a lofty goal. And some people have other lives, so <laughs> sorry, sorry. It didn't quite work the way we wanted to, um, but it'll be fine. We, we have, it, you know, mostly memorized is still slightly not memorized, but that's okay. Um, uh, we have three different skits different people. I'm in all three, but I'm a different person in, all, in each one. So you'll have slight visual cue to let you know that I'm somebody different. Okay. Um, and that we do this as a gift to our preacher so that she can have the week after Sunday off and she's out there like a regular person now. So we're so glad.
Let's go in. But he looked right at me. Hello, hello, oh, hello. Well, I hope you're satisfied. Why, what did I do? You interrupted a perfectly good thought that I was having. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, you really should be. But then that's why you're here, right? It is. Uh, hello, are those blonde roots I see showing through there? Uh, this is the Office of Guilt Administration. Are feeling guilty about something, I'd hope you've had you'd had sense to go bother someone else. <laughs> well, I'm so sorry. I, I think we've established that fact. Can we can we move on here? Oh, yes. You see, I went to another uh, office down the hall, and they told me to come up here. Uh, who are they? The people at the I think it said the office of paybacks. Uh, oh, good people. Go on. Good people. Uh, they said that you might be able to help take care of my um, problem. From the looks of things, I doubt it. Uh, but why don't you tell me what this problem of yours is, and we'll give it a try. Uh, yeah. I don't. I don't know. I don't actually know how to put it into words. I don't know how to. I don't know how to say it. I'm. I'm. I just. I just... Oh please! The the suspense is just killing me. Well, I'm sorry. Look, the Department of Redundancy Department is two doors down. Department of Redundancy Department, got it, yeah, well, um, you know what, fine. I can't stand it any longer, so I'm just, I've come to get it all straightened out. I'm here because I just can't seem to live up to everybody's expectations of me. Finally! Now we're getting somewhere. Okay. You've certainly come to the right place. Oh, good. Good. Now let's get started with the paperwork. Paperwork? Uh, what will it be? Failure at motherhood, form GA-176, uh, neglectful wife, form GA-121. Ah, uh, right. kitchen deficiencies, form GA-299. You mean there's a form for all of those things? Listen, you came here because you feel guilty, right? Yes. Here's how it works. You come to us, you fill out a form, for all the areas of your life that you failed in, and in four to six weeks, we give you a complete evaluation of just what a truly lousy person you are and exactly how badly you should feel about it. Oh, it's working. I'm feeling worse already. <laughs> we aim to please. So which form do you want? Or should it be one of each? No, actually, I didn't hear or see, I don't see the one that I actually need. Oh. And which one is that? One for being a lousy Christian. Uh-oh. Never a good thing to hear. Why do you say uh-oh? We get a lot of Christians in here. Really? Guilt is a very big thing with you people. I hate to tell you, but you're in the wrong place. Really? You Christians don't need a guilt administrator. Why not? I've seen it a thousand times. You Christians have that grace thing going for you. Yeah, I know all about grace, but I'm just not a very good Christian. And, and why do you say that? I just don't feel like I'm doing all the things that God expects me to do. Everybody knows that in order to be a good Christian, God expects certain things of you. And I really, I try really hard, but there are probably a million rules that I've broken. You mean like the Ten Commandments and the Golden Rule and that kind of stuff? Thanks, you had to bring those up. Okay, make it a million and eleven. <laughs> Look, this, this really isn't my place. I mean, this could cost me my job to say this, but you've got it all wrong. No, I don't believe I do. It's pretty simple. I really want to please God, but there is just no way that he can be pleased with me these days. Figure out the form, I'll sign it, and fill it out, and you'll, you'll see. You, you don't need one of these forms. No? Nope. nope. All you need is this. The Bible? Uh, hello, that's what, exactly what brought me here in the first place. That says that having a relationship with Jesus, plus keeping all of his rules, is the only way to truly please God. Believe me, I'm lousy at it. 
you know, the way I hear it, having a relationship with Jesus plus nothing is truly the way to please God. And I'll bet you're better at it than you think you are. But aren't I supposed to feel guilty about all the things that I mess up? Look, I'm a guilt administrator. You're asking the wrong person. I'm just telling you what I've heard. I've heard that this is where grace comes in. So what do I do now? Tell you what. You take this. Mm -hmm. You go exploring. Look for grace. Mm -hmm. you'll, you'll be fine. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got some work to do. Right. Next! Oh, Linda, thanks for coming with me. Um, this can't be the right place. 109 Main Street. That's what it said oh. on the door. Well, I guess we're where we're supposed to be. But... feel dirty just sitting here. Oh God, look at all these people. <sighs> How fast were you going? Look at him. You still looking? I don't know. How about you take a look? Well, no, you look. He's looking the other way. She's a misdemeanor. Definitely more of a felon. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Stop staring at these people. You're going to make one of these criminals mad at us. You're the one who pointed her out. Well, you're the reason we're here. So, how fast were you going? Uh, yeah. 45. 45. Oh, <laughs> only 45. That's not bad. <laughs> it was in a 30. You were going 15 over the speed limit? You were, oh. going, you were going 15 over the speed limit? Well, actually, I was going 50, but the cop helped me out, and he wrote 45 on the ticket. You know what? Everybody speeds. I don't deserve to be in a courtroom with all these guilty people. But you're... Guilty. But I'm not that guilty. Oh. You know what? You're right. This can't be the right place. That, that has to be another courtroom. Mm, for the people that aren't that guilty? Oh, another courtroom for those that are mostly innocent. Mm -hmm. Well, mostly innocent is still slightly guilty. <laughs> but, you know, actually, some people are more guilty than others, okay? I mean, look at me. <laughs> Look at the guy in shackles. Come on! These people need Jesus. We all need Jesus. Some more than others, all right? Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. Okay. Uh, you 
either need Jesus or you don't. And I think we all need Jesus. Linda, you know what I mean. Oh, you don't need Jesus that much. Just like you're not that guilty. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. Oh, what are you going to do? Get up in front of the judge and go, <clears throat> Your Honor, I'm not that guilty. In fact, if you think about it, I'm mostly innocent. Well, like you said, mostly innocent is still only slightly guilty. Hmm? Face it. There's no in between. You're either guilty or you're not. You were speeding or you weren't. A sin is a sin. Am I glad I brought you? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Yes. Yeah, um, yes, sir. Um, I, how, do, how do I plead? How, how might I plead? How am I? Guilty. Totally and utterly guilty. Hey, Justice, I'm here. Hey. Hey, you made it. Oh, gloves. Oh, good. Oh, good. Thanks for inviting me. Of course. For, wow, it looks like you have done an awful lot of work already in these raised beds. Oh, yeah, and these raised beds Those right Those are the here. ones, yeah. When, when we started this garden, I had no idea how much work it was going to be. But I am hoping that with a prayer and a little bit of a blessing that it'll turn into something good and maybe we'll be able to feed some people that normally wouldn't have any food otherwise. Oh my stars, that is wonderful. Mm -hmm. I'm, I can't wait. I'm, I'm all in. I'm ready to learn what I need to do. That's a great attitude right there. And I am very excited to teach you. Okay. So, what you, what you got in your hand there? Stand up. St stand, stand up, stand up. I was working, I was working. Okay, okay. What you got um, in some hand? I brought some seeds. Oh, you brought some seeds? That's perfect. Okay, okay. Well, I've got a spot for you already here. See? So what kind of seeds did you bring here? Kale. Kale. Awesome. Hmm. Okay, okay. I don't think we have any kale yet, so that'll be awesome. Well, you know, I figured you might not have any yet because mm -hmm. kale isn't as fashionable as it used to be. Well, you know what they say in farming circles. <laughs> Swiss chair chard is the new kale. Shh, don't say that. They'll hear you. It's all right. You didn't mean it. It's okay. Shh, shh, it's okay. It's okay. Um, I imagine they might be a little sensitive to the fact that Swiss chard is the more gorgeous cousin. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Family drama. Am I right? Yeah. Well, well I'm, yeah. So, <laughs> like I said, though, I got a plot right here. You see, lots of room for the seeds and their roots to spread out. And all we need to do is put the seeds into the ground. In the, in the ground? You yeah, mean, that's right. Okay, so I'll take these lovely, darling little seeds. Yeah. And I'll put them into the dark, filthy, dirty, scary, dirty dirt. Soil, soil. It's called soil. It's full of nutrients. I promise you, 
We've been working very hard to get a pool of nutrients, so whenever you're ready. Planting, yes, we're planting. We're planting now. We're, we're going to plant. Yes, yes. exactly. We, we're on to something now. Oh, we're, yeah. We're, 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 uh, we're, we're cooking with gas. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. we're, okay. we're, fanning, we're fanning the spark. Oh, yeah. We're stoking the fire. Yeah. Y you see Only you can prevent forest fires, you know. You seem to be in a very combustible place, and I promise you that is the exact opposite of what we are trying to do here. No, 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 no fire, no combustion. No, this, no, 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 no flames. This is a no flame zone. Okay? Yes. No, 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 Correct. no, no, no. Okay, you didn't hear it, because <laughs> you're you. Yes. But my seeds, when you were saying that, screamed a tiny, teeny, tiny little seed scream, okay? Oh. It was like, okay. You didn't hear it. I heard it. You did? Of course I heard it. Of course and, you did. And dogs can hear it. Really? And, and uh, yeah, bats can hear it. They yeah. can't see very well, but bats could hear it. Yes, uh -huh. yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Terrible. Oh, oh. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. You know what? You know what? That's incredible. Okay. I had no idea you were so knowledgeable. Mm -hmm. So again, though, what we're going to do is we're going to put the seeds in the ground. And you do something else that I know. Did you know that oh. pigeons can hear earthquakes before we even feel really? them? It's it's basically a superpower. Okay? That is so applicable to what we're doing. Yeah, that's enough. It's a lot of responsibility for really? a bird that can't even speak oh, English. Okay. Right. Carrier pigeons. Now here's something else oh, I know. Yes, yes. Carrier pigeons have been awarded medals. Have they? Been? I, I have not oh, been, any, yes. been awarded any medals, but I'm working on it. Okay, okay, okay. Well, you know what, you know, what's going on here? Because, again, you seem to be having a lot of trouble putting the seeds in the ground! Well, I just think there might be some factors here that we might not have considered. Factors? Mm -hmm. Factors? Well, what factors? Well, Justice, consider this, okay? Okay, just okay, I'm listening. Think about this. I'm thinking. If I'm thinking. I put these seeds yes. in the ground, that's what we're here for. Okay, then I will be just like my favorite grapes. What? 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 I will be seedless. You get it? Seedless? <laughs> ooh, ooh. You got it. You got it. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. That's it. You see the. That's the point. The point is to plant the seeds in the ground. Oh, sure, 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 sure. But, but, okay, here's another factor. Think about this. Okay. What if instead uh -huh. of planting, we didn't? You know what? Yeah, yeah, that, that's a great idea. We'll just not plant the seeds, and then we'll give uh, baskets full of nothing to people and tell them to just imagine what the kale tastes like. Well, you know what? I ate kale that tasted like a basket once. Of course you did, and I bet you liked it. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Never mind, never mind. Why don't we just put the seeds in the ground? But I love them. I love them. Those seeds. I do. Those seeds in particular. Look, right there. Look at them. They're so little and round. They're, they're, like, they're like little babies. They're my little kale babies, oh, Justin. Oh, the garden, they said. It'll be great, they said. Oh. I knew all about the fruits, they said. Didn't anticipate the nuts! I think they need me. Mm. Okay, it's okay. Yes, it's okay. Bad. I see. I see. You're right, Faith. I, I see, see they probably need you. I You're hope you see better than a bat does. <laughs> right, right, right. Well, 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 listen. You don't need to feel bad about those seeds being planted. I don't. No. But, but what happens when the seeds go into the ground then? Well, believe it or not, when the seeds go into the ground, they die. They die? They yes. die? Yes. They die? Justice, they can't die. No, you see this no, beautiful no, no. ground. No, 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 no. I have this, carried this, these darling this little this seeds around ground. in my little paw beautiful for, ground. for 52 minutes, okay? And if you add, say, 599 more hours to that, mm -hmm. you have the gestation period of a gerbil. And that makes gerbil babies. So, Julie. Something. Yeah. 
we're not playing in gerbils. Aww. Okay? Okay? That's Look, true. I'm we're telling not. you. These seeds are meant to be planted. They want to be planted. They need to go into the ground. But I've never heard them say that even once. And I can hear them. Right, right. You can hear seeds, and I'm the Easter Bunny. Well, well, okay, okay. You know what? You know what? You can take my word for it, though, okay? I am the speaker of the seeds. Okay? I talk to them all the no all the time. Okay. okay. All right. All the time. I'm a seed expert. You are. I can, I can see that you're the seed guy. You're the gardening expert. Yes, okay. you see? Okay. I'm the seed all expert. Right. The speaker of the seeds. All right. The speaker of the trees. All right. And that's okay. right, okay? okay? Now, I know you will believe me when I said, well, it's it's sort of like Jesus, okay? Je yeah, Jesus is great, you know? He's great. And, you know, every act of dying in him, well, it springs forth life somewhere else, okay? Okay? It's okay. almost like in 1 Corinthians, verse 15, you know? Okay? Yeah? What you sow does not come to life until it dies. You know, all that, all that. Yeah, so those, those seeds right there, they need to be planted in the soil. They need to die. And then they'll come to life. And then we will have a harvest of kale to put in the baskets. Right. So, so they need to. They want to. It's like their little seed destiny. Yes. Yes. Their, exactly. Their, oh, 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 wait for what? it. Huh? Their little death seed knee, you might say. No. No, yes. George. No. No one will ever say that. Ever. But, but, but sure, sure. You got the right idea. We need to put the seeds in the ground and then we just watch what springs up all right all right we can do this we yeah. can do this little seeds we That's can do it plan. okay all right it's time all right it is all right it's been time yep. mm. right. it okay. takes me a while all right i'm I, new yes. to this gardening thing. i think we've established that all right all right we're gonna do it all right okay okay ready oh i've been ready brothers and sisters it's time we're gonna plant these seeds of kale in the ground. We're gonna oh, lay yep. them low in the ground. Yep, that's and exactly they will be it. there five. Fear not though, fear not. They will be gone from our sight, but for a moment, a little while. A moment, yeah. Five to eight, probably business days. Maybe business they, days. Maybe, yeah, okay. Yeah. They Who will knows? be gone from our sight, but then they shall spring forth in yes. glorious new kale life. Exactly. And, and there will be great jubilation oh. and celebration, the Such carnivore. Celebration. Carnivore and vegetarian alike, they will look. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, there. Perfect. It's planted. It's good. Awesome. We're good. You have no appreciation for ceremony, do you, Justice? Pageantry, pageantry's dead. Forget it. Okay, okay. You know, well, I'm starved. Why don't we go eat? In fact, you know what I'm feeling? A little salad. I can't do salad, especially if it's kale. Not, not just, just yet. You it's can't too do soon. Salad? Okay. But, but I can eat. I can eat. Okay, what okay. Want? What about what? burgers then? Burger? Yeah. yeah. What about burgers? I can eat a burger only if the bun is seedless. Only if the bun is seedless? Seedless. Okay, okay. That's fine with me. You know, you mentioned pageantry being dead though, right? Mm -hmm. That's kind of just like your seeds. Just
we confess our faith in a different creed this morning. I invite you to join me. We believe in God who made us in his image, who lifts our hearts during times of trouble, who inspires us with wonder and awe. We believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God, who strikes the light of joy in the midst of gloom and despair, and who had the last laugh on the devil when he rose from the dead. We live in newness of life and laugh because of him. We believe in the Holy Spirit, who with the Father and the Son is our counselor, guide, and refuge. Even in times of trial, the Spirit opens our eyes to see God's presence in all things and fills our lives with goodness, laughter, and great joy. Amen. Amid the celebration of this day, it's good that we pause and remember that many carry burdens that need not be carried alone. Let us pray. God of love and laughter, we thank you that we were made for a relationship with you and with one another. We thank you for the laughter with friends and loved ones and for the song it creates in our hearts. We thank you for the many blessings of this life, especially those we name now silently in our hearts to you. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. By your great unending love, you inspire us a spirit of imagination. Help us to use that spirit to play more, laugh more, and create beauty in every way possible. Remind us to laugh out loud, for doing so will heal some of the wounds within us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Loving God, we pray for those who cannot find their laughter on this day, for those who are grieving or suffering illness of body, mind, or spirit, for those who are lonely and in need of someone to share their time and friendship, and for those who have not yet moved into the season and spirit of Easter and find themselves still in the gloom of Good Friday. We pray for those who are stricken or otherwise affected by COVID-19 and those who help them, especially first responders and healthcare workers. We pray for those on our prayer list and for those we name now, either silently or aloud. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God, we pray for those whose laughter now rings in the heavens. May we be inspired by their example, hearing the echoes of their joy in our lives. And may we be confident in your merciful holding and healing of their lives. We pray for those who have died, especially those we name now silently in our hearts to you. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. May the troubles of all your people be soothed, blessed, and comforted by your holy presence. May we each find the laughter within us that sets our spirits free. And in that freedom, may we take your love into every part of our lives. Amen.
Why did the turkey cross the road? Why? It was the chicken's day off. Yeah, it is our day off. <laughs> did you just pick your nose? No, I've had it since I was born. <laughs> Why is dark spelled with a K and not a C? Why? Because you can't see in the dark. What do you get when you cross a snowman with a vampire? I don't... Wait. What? A frostbite. <laughs> Why did the T-Rex smell so bad? I don't know. Why? Because he was extinct. Why do pilgrims have trouble keeping their pants up? I don't know. Why? Because they wear their, bu their buckles on their hats. What was the first math problem in the Bible? I don't know. What? When God told Adam and Eve to go forth and multiply. How does Moses make his coffee? How? He brews it. Why did they play cards on the ark? I don't know. Why? Because Noah was standing on the deck. What do pirates call Noah's boat? What? The ark. What animal could Noah not trust? What animal? What animal could Noah not trust? What? The cheetah. Please stand. The peace of Christ be with you always. I invite you to share a sign of Christ's peace with those around you. Let us pray. Living God, you gather the wolf and the lamb to feed together in your peaceable reign, and you welcome us all to your table. Reach out to us through this meal and show us your wounded and risen body that we may be nourished and believe in Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us 
us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is indeed right, our duty and our joy, that we should at all times and in all places give thanks and praise to you, almighty and merciful God, for the glorious resurrection of our Savior, Jesus Christ, the true Paschal Lamb who gave himself to take away our sin, who in dying has destroyed death, and in rising has brought us to eternal life. And so with Mary Magdalene and Peter, and all the witnesses of the resurrection, with earth and sea and all their creatures, and with angels and archangels, cherubim and seraphim, we praise your name and join their unending Holy, living, and loving God, we praise you for creating the heavens and the earth. We bless you for bringing Noah and his family through the waters of the flood, for freeing your people Israel from the bonds of slavery, and for sending your Son to be our Redeemer. We give you thanks for Jesus, who living among us, healed the sick, fed the hungry, and with a love stronger than death, gave his life for others. In the night in which he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus took bread and gave thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat. This is my body given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. Again, after supper, he took the cup, gave thanks, and gave it for all to drink, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood, shed for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sin. Do this for the remembrance of me. With this bread and cup, we remember our Lord's Passover from death to life as we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Remembering, therefore, his life-giving death and glorious resurrection, we await your promised life for all this dying world. Breathe your spirit on us and on this bread and cup. Carry us in your arms from death to life that we may live as your chosen ones, clothed in the righteousness of Christ. Through him, all glory and honor is yours. Almighty Father, with the Holy Spirit in your holy church, both now and forever. Amen. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. This is Christ's table, and he is the host of this meal. So come, you who have much faith, and you who would like to have more. You who have been here often, and you who have not been for a while. You who have tried to follow Jesus, and you who have failed. Come, Christ promises to meet us here. You may be seated.
Please stand. The body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ strengthen you and keep you in his grace. Amen. pray. We give you thanks, generous God, for in this bread and cup we have tasted the new heaven and earth, where hunger and thirst are no more. Send us from this table as witnesses to the resurrection that through our lives all may know life in Jesus' name. Amen. A few announcements. Um, one, we will have Sunday school after worship today for the elementary class and also for the adults. We're still continuing with our By Heart class. And this Tuesday is the first of six sessions in our Bible study on the book of Revelation. So if you've ever been curious about Revelation, this could be the um, time to explore that. Uh, it will be at 6.30 on Tuesday evenings through the end of May. And we'll be meeting in person in the fellowship room, but we will also have Zoom set up. Uh, and uh, the link was emailed uh, this weekend for that, but let me know if you have any questions. Julie has an announcement as well. I don't know if you can see the flowers. This is what happens when you call the florist and say, I need flowers for Holy Humor Sunday. <laughs> and she kind of has free reign. So we have, we have sunflowers with faces on them. If you want to come up and take a look, then you get a kick out of that. She was so excited to do that for me. Um, and I was so glad that the kids came up and gave such a great performance. Clap. <laughs> <Yeah>. <clears throat> And I'm so proud of my rubber chickens for making an appearance. <laughs> we have, we've had those for years in the, in the closet in the pastor's office, okay? And when I go in there, just randomly, to get something out of the safe or the you know, whatever, I'll just turn to her and I'll say, um, you know, we have rubber chickens in here just in case you ever need them. So how many times have I said that to you? Yeah, many times, even her short time here. So, the kids were excited to hear about the rubber yay. chickens. Yeah. <laughs> yay, rubber chickens. Um, and, uh, well, finally, thanks, and almost finally, thanks to uh, Ed and Linda and Justice for being my partners in humor today. I hope you enjoyed our skits. That was fun. Thank you. Well done. And I know in the bulletin it says that the Alleluia Bingo was just for fun, but you might know that I would, that was her idea. It, you might know I'd have to have some prizes, okay? So anybody who had Alleluia, raise your hand, please, and keep it up. It's okay, really. It's okay. Keep it up because I'll read off the prizes and keep your hand up because you might want to do, what do they do, like the white elephant? You might want to trade your prize. I don't know. So keep your hand up. So, okay. Lynn, I see Claire first. Okay. Doesn't matter who was first. I see Claire first. You get to preach next Sunday. Woohoo! <laughs> Linda, Linda, I see yours next. You get to play the organ next Sunday. Or, or if you don't want to use your feet, you can play the piano. We'll give you that option. Okay. Um, who, who else do you have? I'll see how you put your hands down now. <laughs> Who's next? Verla. Verla gets to type the bulletins and the newsletter. Yay! Okay, um, who's next? Paul, you get to corral all the dead bugs from all the windowsills and the stairwells. <laughs> <All right. laughs> who's next? Who's next? Mir Miriam. Ooh, Miriam, you get to balance the church's checkbooks. <laughs> what a face. <laughs> okay, who's next? Cindy, Cindy Z, you get to operate the iPad for recording the worship service. I'll bet you're, I'll bet you're ready. <laughs> um, who, who's next? Who's, somebody over here? Karina, you had your hand up. Come on, Karina Banker. She gets to repaint the lines on the parking lot. 
and we'll even give you, we'll give you the choice of colors, okay? You can pick your color. <laughs> um, two more, who's, who's next? Greg, Greg, you, uh oh you get to clean all the toilets here. <laughs> and you know, there, you know there are like 18 of them, aren't there, Vix? How many toilets? About 18, okay, so. Big, big jug of comet, okay. <laughs> Next, last one, who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Come, Dolores had one. All right, we're gonna, <laughs> looks like a deer in the headlights. <laughs> She is going to agree to be the first person notified if the security system fails because of a thunderstorm, okay? <laughs> they might well call you about three o'clock in the morning to let you know, just, just be prepared. Okay, she'll be there. Hey, thanks everybody for playing along. That was a lot of fun. Good idea. <laughs> now receive the benediction. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I will say rejoice. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, guide your, guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Hallelujah! Christ is risen. Go in peace. Share the good news. Thanks be to God.